Hi there, my name is Joanna Donnelly. I'm a meteorologist at Metairn and I forecast the weather. You might see me after the six o'clock news and after the nine o'clock news too. So we're going to talk today about how we get from a weather observation to a weather forecast. But first of all, what is a weather for observation? Well, first of all, meteorologists and weather observers right across the world, not just here in Ireland, but right across the whole globe, at just before the hour, so about 10 to 1, 10 to 2, 10 to 3, a person, a weather observer, goes outside and observes the weather. We also use automatic weather stations, like the one here right behind me, to predict or forecast the weather by observations. What is an observation exactly? Well, an observation starts with the air pressure, so we use an barometer to measure the air pressure in hectopascals. We also measure the wind speed and the wind direction. Those are measured in knots and an eight point compass. And we use an anemometer. You can see one here on my weather station. This part of the anemometer measures the wind speed. And this part of the anemometer measures the wind direction. We also measure the temperature using a thermometer and the dew point using a, a wet bulb thermometer. The dew point is the temperature of the air at which dew forms. So in the air we have water vapour and when the air cools, some of that water vapour condenses into water and settles as dew. You see dew on the grass in the mornings. We also have a look at the clouds. We observe what clouds are in the sky at any particular time. To do that we divide up the sky into octaves, eight octaves, and we determine how much of the sky is covered by a cloud. So we measure cloud amounts in octaves. We measure a cloud height in feet. So we estimate using our experience and some landmarks, how high this cloud is in the sky. And we also use the cloud type to estimate just about approximately how high a cloud be might be because there are different types of cloud types. We also observe what exactly the weather conditions are. So if it's raining or maybe snowing, we check the visibility, how far we can see. If we can't see more than a thousand meters, for example, we might have mist or fog. So once we have our weather observations, what do we do with? Well, we put it into a code. That code is called the SYNOP. And we put that code into a computer. Then we transmit that code all across the world. We share our information with the whole entire world. And meteorologists and forecasters all around the world take that information, churn it through a computer, and use the computer to create numerical weather prediction models, NWP. And together with satellite and radar, we use all of that information to predict the weather into the future. 